Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you the difference between Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom. So we're gonna begin in Lightroom, and you can see some differences in the layout just starting off if you're familiar with Photoshop. And one of the main ones is that there's no layers panel available in Lightroom. So everything that you do on the photos is just adjusted right on top, and it's all kind of non-destructive, especially if you've shot raw. So you have all your basic exposure, contrast, highlights, color, things that a photographer would need to edit their photo, but you don't have things like filters and layers that are available in Photoshop. Another one of the key differences that you notice is the organization and workflow in Lightroom. It's much more suited for someone who, let's say, just wants to fix the contrast and exposure on many photos at once. See, in Photoshop, you can't really look at the film strip in this way you can have multiple tabs open, but you can't really organize and, and sort through many photos and apply quick adjustments to them. For example, let's say I shot a bunch of photos all on the same day or with the same camera settings, and I just wanted to increase all of their contrast in the same way. I can always copy these settings and then actually paste them over one or as many of the photos open on the strip as I want. So I just pasted the same contrast and exposure settings over multiple different photos. Lightroom's library feature allows for you to sort through, organize, and work with all of your photos in a way that's just a little bit faster and efficient when you're doing these sort of adjustments. So you can think of it kind of like your digital darkroom or Lightroom. Aside from your basic color correction and grading type of options, you also have some things like cropping, healing brush, and some other adjustments where you can just brush a certain area to be warmer or darker or whatever settings you have set to the brush. So in that way, it does give you some sort of compositing options with the, the brush gradients tool, allowing you to only make adjustments on certain parts of the image. But you can see it's a lot more basic in flexibility and functionality than something like Photoshop. So this works great when you're processing lots of photos, you're working with raw photos, or you just need to do things like contrast, exposure, coloring, temperature, things like that. Now, let's open this photo in Photoshop and I'll explain some of the differences and you can compare the two. So coming into Photoshop, it's got a similar layout with the image in the front, but in Photoshop, you see a whole bunch of selection of tools that you didn't quite have in Lightroom. So the biggest one of these is that you can work in layers and you can composite things. For example, if you wanted to add text, you can't really add text in Lightroom. If I wanted to drag other images and blend them in here, you can't really do that in Lightroom. Another thing that's not available is the assortment of filters. So if I wanted to do just any sort of filters or other type of work onto the image, that's not really available in Lightroom either. That's not to say that Photoshop is better than Lightroom or Lightroom is better than Photoshop. It's just that this is why the two are separate programs. They each have their different uses and cases. Now, can you do a lot of the same things in each program? Yes, for example, I can also adjust the contrast in Photoshop, but you see where in Lightroom, you could just flick around the sliders, they're all there for you, and it's immediate and instant. In Photoshop, to adjust settings like that, you might have to go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness, Contrast, or if you wanted to work a little bit more non-destructively, create a new adjustment layer of whatever you wanted, like brightness, contrast, curves, etc. So it does have kind of a lot of the same tools, but the workflow is a lot different and kind of more suited towards compositing one image rather than processing multiple images at the same time. And also Photoshop is a little bit more suited for creating graphics and things like that if you also want to add them to your photo. So if I wanted to do a cool color correction and grade on a handful of images, I might like Lightroom for that. But if I wanted to, let's say, remove this blue sweatshirt guy from this picture, I can't really do that in Lightroom, whereas Photoshop has some powerful tools in it, such as the content aware fill. So we kind of can remove that guy from being in the picture if we didn't want him there. Now going back to Lightroom, you can see how easy it is for me to flick between pictures, check out all the pictures that I've imported or import new photos using this library feature, 
and kind of search through them. Whereas Photoshop's file management system is a little bit more traditional, one file at a time type of thing, which kind of suits it more to editing one photo at a time. And if I did have multiple tabs open, I can do that, but there's not really a good way to see what's on every tab, especially if they're all named B665 or whatever. You can adjust things and arrange everything to tile up like this, but still the film strip in Lightroom is by comparison a lot more smooth to work with. Now Adobe does have apps like Bridge and if you want a way to sort all of your creative assets together. I personally never find myself using it too much, not for any particular reason, but it is there if you want to look into it. And finally when it comes to saving and exporting things, in Photoshop you have Photoshop files so I have the original image wherever it was and then if I want to save this I could save it as a new Photoshop file or as a new JPEG. Whereas in Lightroom, you have all the non-destructive options built in. So all these exposure and color settings that I've done, I can always reset to the original settings if I want. It's not like it's permanently adjusting these things. So it lends itself well to the kind of back and forth nature that you might use when doing photo editing. In Photoshop, you can open raw photos or edit photos with the camera raw filter which gives you a similar layout. So you can see both of the programs are very capable photo editors, but the main differences between them are Lightroom is primarily for editing and adjusting photographs, things such as color, exposure, contrast, cropping, saving, organizing, whereas Photoshop offers a lot more tools on top, such as compositing things in layers, adding text, graphics, filters, and powerful selection and blending options. So you don't have to choose one over the other. These two are separate programs for a reason. Consider what it is you need to do or what kind of work you're looking to do. If you wanna check out next, what's the difference between Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects, I've also made a video on that. So I'll leave a link to it. And if you enjoy these videos, you can subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.